I see so many headlines, so many retweets, so many links on my timeline. There's so much news that I can't find time to read everything, but I know these are trying times. And it feels like every other day there's another major break, another front page article that screams in my face, things are not okay. And listen, this is church, I know I'm supposed to pray. I'm supposed to read these awful stories and I'm supposed to say, God's got this under control and go about my day. But I won't lie to you, I can't anymore. I read the news and I'm afraid. There's violence between spouses, there's not enough houses, the stock market is up and then the stock market's down some. There's political scandal. Another leader I looked up to, their church is in shambles after the story broke on how they couldn't handle them. Sorry, I'm sorry, I'm starting to ramble. See, the news keeps changing. We keep rearranging ways to say things aren't going well and then we put it on pages and wonder why we're scared and confused throughout the day. See, what I'm learning is we need something permanent. We need something that won't change every time we're on the internet. We need good news that's not dependent on policies or presidents. We need news that's bigger than our personal circumstance. We need a news that's true and that's honest and that's powerful. And I need news that can look me in the face and promise me it's gonna last. We need good news forever, for our future and our past. And for real, thank God, the gospel is actually that. See, the good news of Jesus is here, and that's fact. We have a headline to share. We have a story to tell. If we really receive it and believe it ourselves, we have the news. We should be ringing the bells. We should be shouting from rooftops. Don't keep this to yourself. We got to share this good news. Our world needs it for real. And if you don't believe me, please just ask yourself this. What do you need to get through the week? Do you need a hope, a light, a peace? Do you need permanent news? Because trust and believe we have the headline. God wrote it for us, for you and for me. And y'all, it's good news. And this news, his news, is exactly what our world needs.